And welcome back to Jeff Quinange Live with my two guests, former Mombasa Senator Hassan Omar Hassan and Narok Senator, who, by the way, is drinking his coffee black. He's boycotting. What's that about? You guys love milk. Don't you love milk? We do. We'll drink our own cow milk. <laughs> we have our own cows, although they are killing them all. Okay, boycott's not going to work. Let's face it. Let's move on. If you boycott Brookside, what's, what's that going to do? You think it'll hurt them? You know, it, it's very interesting that you say that. And, and let me focus on Brookside. You know, resistance or revolutions are, are started by very simple things. And a boycott is supposed to send a strong message. Are you sending that? Okay, we are sending a very strong message. To and Brookside, we want to Safari, be able... Bitco. You know, let me focus on why... Okay why I am boycotting. The reason why I'm boycotting, or the reason why I'm resisting, is because of the way the Maasai nation is being treated. And I want to be very sober on this, because these are very emotive issues that are very sensitive. And people don't seem to understand what is happening in this country. The Maasai lost over two million acres of land during the colonial administration. We are so naive to believe that that land will revert back to us. And we thought that a, a government that knows the importance of these people would actually support them. Back in March, um, March 17th, the former minister of interior, the late Ngaiseri, actually gazetted a particular area as a dangerous zone. During that time, because a lot of people say, why are you saying it's 2,000 cows? I've just received a message from somebody who's saying, why are you saying it's 2,000 cows? During that time, when Gasseri took that action, several cows were killed in that area. And what happened recently is something which is very, very sad. The, the recent one is 300. The recent one is 300. That's the one that many people know of. The, even the other one people knew about. But it's just that people didn't talk about it. Okay. You know, and let me explain to you what happened. Because this is very sad. And I want to show the Kenyans what is left of all Maraga. the cows. Okay? okay? Okay. And I'll explain to you how we got to this point. Because I personally went and visited. This is something which is very sensitive, that I want Kenyans out there to know that the Maasai nation is actually, their economy is being destroyed. This is what we believe in. This is what we live on. You think this was deliberate? This was deliberate. By... And I'll explain to you how it happened. Uh -huh. I wish they could show it. Yeah. You know? They are showing it, yeah. We have it. Carry on. You know, this, these two, number one, this is, and I'll, and I'll explain to the, to the Kenyans how this came about. And this one too. I went to Laikipia and met with the people who were said to be bandits by the IEG. Mm. And when I was looking for them, this is a person I met, a young boy who is actually 14 years old. And the only thing he had was that umbrella. No, a, no AK-47? No AK-47, no nothing. And then I met these two old men, this one, who I spent most of my time pleading with him not to commit suicide. Because he said, if all my cows are gone, then why should I live? Okay, what's the story? So let me tell you what happened. What happened on that particular date is that a few rogue police officers, because not all police officers are bad, but in this country, we have a situation whereby we take advantage of a situation. When they knew that there was a Gazette notice literally um, stating that that area is a dangerous zone, some people started taking advantage of the situation. These herders migrated from Archer's Post. They came with their cows. Because at Archer Post, it was so dry they were looking for greener pastures. This is our nature as, as, as uh, pastoralists. So when they came, they lived there. They set up small uh, little huts where they were living. And then on this particular day, they were actually washing their cows with uh, deep. They were cleaning their cows. And then, funny enough, the police officers who came in driving the APCs, they're actually known to these guys. So when the guy was washing his cows, the young boy came and told the father, oh, there's an APC here. So the Mze left the cows and he went and said, what? So the guy just lifted the, uh, the guns and shot up in the air. And then immediately after, he started spraying bullets. And the and intention killed. is what? 
the intention is to kick the Maasai's out of that place. And I'll explain why. Because follow, after the independence, the late Mzee Njomo Kenyatta invited members of his community to come and buy land there. When they bought land there, that land, we expected it to go back to the Maasai. When they bought that land there, they, they never lived there. They have never lived there. But they okay? paid for it. They paid for it during the post-colonial period, immediately after independence. The Maasai were still living there. So the Maasai didn't understand the concept of having a title deed. So when the Maasai have stayed there all this period of yeah, time... but they must have accepted some kind of payment, if I'm not It mistaken. was not the Maasai who were paid. It is the colonial masters. Remember, in 1911, 1904, we had agreement. Our leader, Olonana, signed an agreement with the British colonial masters. And all the land went to the British colonial masters. But the Maasai never left the place. So when the Maasai came in and lived there for over 40 years, this absentee landlord realized that there is a danger here. There is a danger of adverse possession. These guys will come and claim that this is our land. There is also an issue that uh, even the late G.G. Karaoke talked about this in the Senate. He fought, and I believe, um, if, uh, I don't know whether you were in the Senate on that particular day, when he was talking about making the capital of uh, Laikipia County to be in Rumuruti. He said we will make this the capital of Rumuruti, of, of Laikipia County, but it will be a capital for the Maasai because they are the ones who have invited us there. Okay, so the Maasai are being killed, number one. And, and I believe it's because we are more NASA than Jubilee. That's one of the reasons why I believe That's that. your opinion. That's though. my opinion, yes. but it's a strong opinion. Because if this, if this government of this Jubilee administration really cared about the Maasai, then they would not have allowed rogue police officers. You know, if I know that Gazette notice was not supposed to last for over mm. six months. Hassan Omar, it's a pretty strong statement to say that Maasai are being killed because they're NASA. Uh, you know, uh, it's convenient politically. Uh, I, I'm a politician. I know what it means when you say that thing to an audience that is watching you. Uh, number two, ironically, uh, both the governors of the two Maasai counties of Narok and Kajiado are Jubilee governors, and a significant number of members of uh, elected representatives are also Jubilee uh, elected representatives. What I think will be important, I, I attended a lot of peace meetings when I was in the Ken CHR, all the way uh, uh, to Isiolo, Samburu, uh, because the, in, the, the conflict uh, appears never to end. I think if there is an incident, uh, well, Lakina has shown us about uh, five or six cows. If there are 2,000... I'll explain what uh, happened in that. Um, for the three hundred thousand, The pictures of about five cows. Mm. I was actually wanting to see like uh, a mass grave. Um, so what, 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 what needs to be done is for those who are duty bearers and those who are elected representatives uh, to prevail upon the Ministry of Interior, Matiangi, uh, to interrogate the actions of the police officers. They could be rogue officers, and as he says, if they are rogue officers, they need to take personal responsibility, both in terms of criminal liability, uh, if, uh, if uh, necessary, pecuniary responsibility in terms of uh, having to compensate for whatever individual actions, because this, this loss must ne then not result to the state. It must not result to taxpayers. So if you, if you occasion a loss in your, own in your own actions in terms of negligent behavior, you need to pay for it. So, but I, I would rather, when you're a leader, um, be very cautious in the way you throw away names about this Kenyatta's well, community. Apparently, I've, I've seen it very convenient. In the coast, we play politics in the coast. I know to blame the Kikuyus on anything and everything yeah. is a convenient political mm. exit or a political statement. Uh, when you say Walewatu or Walewatu, uh, and I think what we need to do, those are the conversations actually we need to have after the elections in terms of, create, of now bridging. And some, some of these things need to be audacious. They need to be very audacious. And bold. And bold. Yeah. And, and say, listen, as it were. And if they are, they are you know, the, the, state, the state had a resettlement program. One, the first phase of resettlement program is squatters on public land. Mm -hmm. If there's squatters on public land, the, the squatters on public land like what we had in uh, Waitiki in Mombasa, Waitiki was given market compensations, and the squatters had to either were allocated that land and were expected also to, to make some contribution to the resettlement fund. You need to go and interrogate part of that private ownership. If the private ownership 
in, uh, you know, also we have a duty to protect private property. If the private ownership is legitimate, then the state has an obligation to compensate the private owners so that then use can revert to the pastoralists who, you, who no, use that me, land. Let me explain. So that we are able I, then to get a balance. There's a question that I want to ask yeah. Let me, be, as can a lawyer. So, 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 so that we yes. can get a balance in terms of justiceability. Yeah. Because there were frameworks. And some of these things did not start with Uhuru Kenyatta. They started since the time of Mwai Kibaki. They started since the time of Daniel Arab Moy. He, was, he, he had uh, uh, put together the, the, set, the, the settlement fund. And, uh, you know, where there, were, there was evident conflict, mm. you cannot go and banish an entire neighborhood like Waitiki because it's, uh, it's, it all belongs to a private yeah. individual. Guys, could there also be the fact that the, some 100-year leases could be coming up they, Could that be a factor in, in any of this? I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think so, because uh, one, one, I think those leases came up Already? a few years ago. Already? And have been ago, renewed? And they have been renewed, I think so. But let me, t let me explain to the senator here why there are only five or two cows in the picture. Because immediately that the cows were shot, <clears throat> almost 20 minutes later, there were, you know, the neighboring communities descended into the scene with motorbikes and pickups. To do what? And they took all the meat. That's very convenient. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Come on. I mean, seriously. Let me ask you, if indeed, and I want to, let us debunk the theory of uh, the IG. The IG said in his statement, and also the police spokesman said, that these were bandits, okay, who were hiding under the cows. Let's assume it is. What happened in a criminal justice system in a place where there is a crime scene? You cordon off. No. Yes. You protect it. You preserve it. Okay? Why didn't they not preserve it as a crime scene? If you go there, Jeff, and I really would welcome you to go and visit that place. You know? It is clear land. But it's sort of like when a, you know? um, when a beer truck rolls over on the road and there's people around there. They're not going to stop and look at No, the but truck. this is the state. This is the state, and they are saying they were after the bandits. So why, why drive away? Why don't you pre preserve the crime scene? Because it, in, in this case, it is a crime scene. The IG must allow some intervention of private, in, organize, uh, private institutions like IPOA, uh, the Independent Police Officer Authority, and uh, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights to get to the heart of it and make recommendations. Uh, if there is a rogue officer who decided to take away the wealth of others, then he, he needs to be punished for that. Yep. There, there is culpability under law. And compensation. And compensation also be affected. Uh, and uh, to establish the actual yep. nature of the But cows, Senator, you have no faith in the system. I but, don't, because um, historically, and actually as early as a couple of years ago, there was a piece of land called the ADC, which was owned by the, Afri uh, the Agricultural Development Corporation in a place called Mutara. 63,000 acres of land. The Maasai nation was evicted from that place. They have lived there for 40 years. And now, a private developer owns that land. The people who were forcefully evicted from that place have no share. They have used that place to graze their cows. We are pastoralists. So how many you know, let me tell you, what is happening in this country is very sad. And I saw this old man, his name is Lekakuya, crying, saying, I have my wife, she's admitted in the hospital, diagnosed with cancer, I came here to sell my cows, you know, mm -hmm. so that I can be able to go and take care of her. Now I cannot do that. So how many officers okay? killed those 2,000 cows? Mm. It is an APC, my brother. Mm, okay. You know, and let me tell you, the only reason why this thing is so emotive is because it is very recent, okay, and it has been brought to the light. So APC using okay. what, 50 caliber, is that what it is? I mean, is? seriously, <laughs> you just take an APC and you just blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you, there is a cow. I, I didn't take that picture for that cow. But I wish I'd taken the picture for that cow. There are a lot of cows who's, who did, which uh, the bullets did not go through, you know? Because these guys were just spraying and spraying. And what happened is that not all cows were actually killed by the police, but the people who descended on these cows mm started killing all the cows, even some of them who they thought that had died, and they had not died. All right. This is a very emotive matter. Extremely. And I think the state ought to really take this matter seriously and compensate those people. Well, you as senator, you, know? you need to follow up on this. Eh? No, I am. I've already, requ I've already requested a statement from uh, the, the majority leader, since we don't have committees in the House. I want to know what the state is doing and on this issue. you don't have committees because... 
we don't have committees because it's both my, our fault as NASA and Jubilee as, uh, as well. Because if Jubilee had their own committee, if they had the committees, then would, uh, the, the blame would have come squarely to us. But it's really our fault, all of us. What happens, what happens in, in Senate or Parliament generally is you need, first and foremost, to appoint the House leadership. True. Without the, the House leadership. The minority. The, the, you, so Jubilee has appointed its leadership. Then it is the whip who then presents names of committee members for, for the approval of the House. So we'll say, uh, Jubilee will say, you present this man and this woman and this man. And, uh, and uh, at first you will agree on the composition of the committees. Mm -hmm. I think the, last, we, the Senate has a committee of nine. The last time, because the numbers were quite close, we had a uh, five-four. Five from Jubilee, four from uh, Code. This time, I think the numbers might be six three. So therefore, Jubilee presents its six members or five members, and NASA will present its three or four members. But it cannot happen until the House leadership is appointed, because it is the whip who eventually, because the party nominates uh, the, the, the leader of majority or minority, he presents the list of his House leadership. And then the whip presents the names uh, to the to the committees, yeah. and then they are tabled in the Senate for approval to those yeah. committees. The committees then meet for the first time, elect their chair and their vice so chair. So, Senator, you can't blame Jubilee. They've already put. You know, it's like a football game. They put. No, up I their, think their I guys. think this matter will be put to rest very soon. So I think. What, the, what when you go to a people's assembly or when you? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Those, those are completely two different things. And I'm and I'm glad that you've raised the issue of the people's assembly. Because uh, this constitution, which we fought so hard for, gives us a right to assemble. Actually, the constitution, and I'm glad my brother is here, and he worked hard for this constitution, mm -hmm. gives us the power. You know? To what? You meet, know, meet at it a gives Uru us the power. Or? We can meet anywhere. In this case, it, uh, we have decided to constitute a people assembly, and in counties where we control the assemblies, we will. We have already prepared motions which are going to be discussed in those assemblies. Is that sort of like okay. a shadow government? Because you know that you know we see in the UK they have shadow governments, I'll shadow see. MPs. Let me, let me well, take you back to, to see the structure and me. to know what exactly the people assemblies are for. Yeah, I understand why. If I were, if I understand why they will use counties. Once it's a motion of the county government, right, or the county assembly, then they can use the resources of the county assembly. You see, if I, 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 if we have a motion and say that the county shall, shall endeavor to constitute people's assembly that shall comprise of the following persons, uh, business community, ETC, uh, the, the clergy, the trade unions, the youth organizations, uh, and therefore then to effect that motion, that you can pre present a, a budget for it. So that it, well, part of the, the consideration, you know, one of the things is uh, when you're in the opposition, and I talk with, uh, with this with, uh, with a lot of uh, sympathy on the basis that I was there, one of the things that uh, you, you have limitations, <laughs> with the limitations, is the resources. So what so you, do, you do, you do, you, put, you, you do M-Pesa, no, no, no. you do all that kind of thing. I, could, I can bet you, you will find that this, this, this com these people assemblies will be mobilized using resources of the county on the basis that they are motions that. of the county. I, I don't okay, that. speaking I of counties, secession. Does that make sense, my friend? Help me understand it, this. For me, I think it was more of a, an attention-seeking gimmick rather than a, a realistic secession quest. Why do I say that? Uh, Joho, King AI, myself, Raila, everybody is on record as having opposed the disintegration of this country. We negotiated an instrument called the Constitution, and this Constitution has given us the strength and, and institutions to mitigate some of our challenges. Uh, the, the frustrations that you cannot win an election cannot mean that we start now dividing the country into pieces. The whole idea of devolution was to cure that marginalization they were talking about. I personally do not delude myself I'm not illusionary even for a minute, that there'll be any court or jurisdiction anywhere, including an international system or mechanism, that will afford you the remedy of secession. That you'll go to the court of law and the high court, Justice Odunga, for instance, that's the one 
uh, NASA Labs, you take it to Justice Odunga and he'll say, I have listened to you and cost party say Kenya and then immediately drives back into Kenya into Nairobi. I don't think that will happen. Uh, don't, let's not delude ourselves. There is no forum internationally, there be the African Commission on Human and People's Rights or any other forum that is going to tell you we have listened to your facts. Uh, now go and become a country. So what I think this was supposed to do, to do it was a populist gimmick. Uh, you see what you do is when you it is very easy. I can tell you as a politician, if I'm finding it hard to face Jeff with facts, I will go and say, do you know that Jeff is Kikuyu? Uh, these guys have done so much bad things mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's become an easier thing to yeah. sell. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> so, it's, so what happens when, when you cannot solve your own problem, you blame it on the others. It's what Donald Trump did. He galvanized the entire white America on the basis that he thought they made, he made it very clear that the immigrants and all these NAFTA and the international uh, commitments that the U.S. had were, were eating into the economy and, and, and making disenfranchising the United, people of the United States. So I can tell you for a fact, Kenya is the territory of Kenya, as specified in Article 5 of the Constitution, will remain intact. Mm. We promulgated to ourselves and said we are one indivisible nation. Indivisible meaning nobody is going to divide it. And I do not believe yeah, yeah. there's any forum anywhere that we, is going to we, afford that remedy. Senator, you're a pretty smart guy. Do, 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 you, do you think secession is an option? Yes, I do. If you continue marginalizing me, then you don't recognize me. In Mombasa, the reason why the MRC emerged is because there's a group that felt marginalized. I feel marginalized. So I completely believe that if I don't feel, if I cannot be able to uh, represent my people well in this administration or in this establishment, then I might as well go away. And where are you going to you know? go? You're going to form no, your very... own territory? No, 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 yes. We will cut from Mombasa, where he comes from. People don't agree with him. Otherwise, he would have been the senator for Mombasa. Cut for Mombasa, come. Narok, kick you guys out of Nairobi. It is ours. Reclaim back what was ours. Go all the way to Kisumu. Create the People Republic. But they are very serious about this. But you know, you, know, you can't. You know, Let me tell Alekina, you. We Alekina, cannot. That's, that's almost delusional. No, 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 it's not delusional. We Alekina. cannot continue to be marginalized. We cannot. Okay? But does you know, I have a me, right. Let me tell you. I have a right to be fully represented in this country. And I'll, and I'll take you back to history. You, you're a guy who lived in the States. You remember what led to the independence of the United States was the Boston Tea Party. Mm -hmm. you know? no, repre no taxation, no taxation no representation. representation. Sure. Yes. So I think in this case, in this country, we are paying taxes, heavily paying taxes. But we don't feel represented. So if we don't feel that our interest is being taken into consideration, then we might as well yeah. go out there. And yet, hold on, Senator, and yet your governor is Jubilee. Let me tell you. Uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. Kajado governor is Jubilee. Most of the elected reps are Jubilee. Hey, Who, who's not feeling but, but part you, of the But nation? you forget, let me ask you a question. If indeed the governor of Narok had a say, why is it that in the repeat election, Jubilee lost with over, th I mean, they lost 30,000 votes, despite all the, uh, what do you call it, the defection from the people who were in NASA defecting into Jubilee. Yeah. They lost 30,000 votes. But, but who, the, the turnout. So that tells you, that tells you, who's the that governor? tells you that one, one thing. the governor can be up here on his, you know, it's actually, it can be called up there. Do you know what a pyramid is? Yeah. You can be seated up here by yourself, but down here, you don't have the meat. Yes, let me tell you. Turnouts in election, by elections are generally lower. I can tell you, this when, you are, when, you are in a, this when you an are in an election, when you are in an election, you have MCAs, you have all litanies of people bringing in the vote. They pretend that they, 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 they pretend like they live in a political vacuum that they don't understand these issues. The MCA is bringing his votes, the member of the National Assembly, and by that there is a lineup. You are voting one way or another. People, some people were sitting who, who, who did not see the incentive because that MCA who they wanted to vote is not on the ballot. But the, the truth is, Jeff, when uh, Rekina doesn't realize you lose today, you probably win tomorrow. It's a question of politics is a constant gamble. And, it, and, and for that reason, we've even petitioned people who have won against us. Mm. But I think for a leader to start saying, we'll kick you guys out and we'll put this. You know, one of the reasons I'm listening I'm wondering to myself, 
where is this country going to? Article 255 of the Constitution where, where, where allows. Is, where, where is this? Just let it allows us to asking, go where, away. Where, where, where is are we this going nation as a nation? Going to? He is a senator of of of, of, of Narok. He was not. He was not called upon to polarize the people of Narok and to ask the people of Narok. The people of Narok knew they were voting him to the Senate of the Republic of Kenya, where his principal responsibility is to negotiate for that cake, to negotiate for that equity, to pass laws that affect the lives of his people. Mm. You do not then come and do the same thing the other guys who are having different stations in life are doing. When you saw my participation in the Senate, it was fundamentally different from my participation when I was an activist. You do not lament when you are given capacity, when you are given power, when you are given responsibility. You try to do something that effectively alters the lives of your people. If you wanted to secede, that you didn't need, didn't need to, get, to get into the Senate to do that. And to this thing of convenience that we'll have a people's republic. Who tells you these people we are talking about, these Maasai, want to be in that people's republic? Because if you look at it in the broader sense, uh, they, they, if we were to take uh, this election yeah. as representative, the majority of the Maasai are with Jubilee. Absolutely. No, so, so, no, 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 no. Uh, no, it is not true. I right, will not gentlemen. let that get away. Uh, let me correct him. You're First of all, I want to make, I wanna, let, me, let me educate you. I was elected by the Maasai to represent their interests. I've heard you say that a okay? lot of times. And I mean it. That you did not, I was not elected, elected by Kipsigis. No, I was not. By it is a Kikuyus. fact. But and the problem is level. this. Uh, the problem is this. Tell you Facts are very stubborn, my friend. What an election okay? does, does, uh, Jeff, if I'm elected by Swahilis in Mombasa, once I'm in that office, I represent My everybody. Friend, it's just, despite what, the fact that, that I'll what represent all of about. them, does Seriously, not nullify it is, or does it, not it disqualify is, the fact that to, to a I extent, was elected Jeff, by the Maasai. Okay, just, gentlemen, just, gentlemen, just, gentlemen, just, gentlemen, before gentlemen. you say anything, right. no, you should not let this... Why? The it's minute a fact. The Maasai it is a fact, my brother. The senator of Narok, you must represent everybody in Narok equally and justly. Not just the Maasai. Not just the Maasai. My friend, let me... There's other tribes in Narok, right? I let you get away with a lot of things, but please, please, Stick to the please, fact. please. I will stick to the please, fact. Please, the, the reason why I was not represented is because the demeanor, he was in the, 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 the demeanor and the aspirations of the constitution. Hmm. Democratic competition means once you are the leader of a certain institution, once you are the leader of a certain county, once you are the leader of a certain country, you serve all mm. to let the me, discrimination of none. Let me, let me, what, what, let me tell, tell what do you tell you the non for you? Let me tell you, let me tell you, you, I will be very consistent in my argument. I believe, and I told you this, Jeff, consistency is the strongest currency in the world. I was not elected by non masais Okay? You just elected by Maasai. I was elected by the majority of Maasai. And let me quantify it. I come from a very small clan. We're only 5,000, buddy. 5,000. The Ildamat are only 5,000. Even if I took all the Ildamat votes, I would not be in the Senate. So you don't care about so the rest I, of us I in Nara? I do Narak. care about you. I do care about you. Mm. As a matter of fact, let, let us be factual here. When we have a problem in Narok that affect the Kipsigis and the Maasai, I raise issues. This is a statement that I raised, and this is the reply from Matiangi, stating the people who were killed in a soit in Kimindet Ward, and there were Maasai's and Kipsigis. I represent that. But the fact that I was elected by the Maasai's will not change. Okay, gentlemen, let's go to tweets. Let's go to, after all, it is a uh, live program and went uh, in real time. Frank Wanja, you say, we'll talk about Nusum Kata, the question earlier, all right? Nusum Kata government cannot work at this particular time. We need a fresh election, well managed, and move forward. New election. All right, Kevin Sadi, you say, if Nusum Kata and other legitimate process will restore sanctity in Kenya, then so be it. Alfred Sakwa, no, we don't need Nusum Kata. 2008 was a mistake. We need free and fair elections, period. Tony Wanyonya, you say, we are tired of these things. We need to go back to business and improve our economy. Moha Mogen, you say, Nusum Kata is the only way out of Kenya out for Kenya rather to pende to see pende watch this space 
Facebook posts. Kate Melody, you say, if that is what can unite us as Kenyans, then let it be. Ruth Maundu, whoever wins in free and fair elections should have the full bread. Nuzum Kate is not applicable in the current situation. Vet Wambua, you say no one needs Nusum Kata. We demand for free and fair, credible election. Very good. Any text, any message, SMSs? Okay, couple of SMSs. Alphonse Mukwayu Musiwi, you say the best way out is to have a candid talk of what ails our Kenyan political and electoral system. Let us design a better way of sharing power and make it accessible to even the smallest minority. I propose a rotational presidency of one term. That way, Ladama can be president one day. Absolutely. Piego Daniel from Kapinguria, you say, yes, Nusumkata is the way. We all need peace. We do not want a divided Kenya. Salome, you say, no, not Nusumkate, but justice. And Wawero from Kitala, you say, no, no, no way. Nusumkate should not be an option for Kenya. And if it happens, we should change the constitution to do away with elections. Monica, what are the final numbers on that uh, poll we were asking earlier on, whether we're heading the Nusumkate way? Artur. Artur Ngapi. How, is it, how numbers are going to devi? Are we looking at Nusim Kata's situation going forward? 25% of you say yes. 75% of you say no. So we win. No Nusim Kata. No Nusim Kata. Well, I guess we're in agreement. No Nusim Kata. That's not his words. That's his interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. No Nusim Kata. You know, no Nusim Kata. No we want the full loaf. Okay, gentlemen, we want to wrap but, up. because Let it's me uh, tell you, uh, Jeff, yes. take this to the bank. The next elections in Kenya is on the second Tuesday of august 2022 take it to the bank take it to the bank there is there is no, there's like no framework the bank that you're there's, saying there's no the framework for an interim government unless you change the constitution a, 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 you see what happens is you had an opportunity to compete i my 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 i know for me raila had hoped that uh, his withdrawal was going to spark some magic that was going to get a postponement of the election. He's told his people on the 25th that it's going to be 90 days. Now he's saying six months. Uh, but by the time you have put together the Nusumkate, uh, we get to a point where he's saying that the work of the Nusumkate is not over. They ask for another extension of six months and then another six months uh, so that people regroup and reorganize themselves. Nobody's that naive from a political point of view to allow it. Uh, I think what uh, people need to do is to get uh, to see what the Supreme Court says to this, uh, this, these petitions. If it affirms uh, the elections, then the country is going uh, to, to now has to put up a roadmap uh, to that recovery and uh, both in terms of and also healing the social the social wounds that were created as a consequence of that election. Donald Trump has to do it. Donald Trump lost by three million votes in terms of the popular vote. And he left. He is leading a polarized America. And but look where his popularity the, is now. It, it, but down, that, that, down, but, down, but, down. but you see, Donald Trump then did not take him back on a path of reconciliation. That path of reconciliation must be put, must be kept open. It's different from dialogue for Nusum Kata. Before Senator uh, gives his rebuttal, real quick, um, is all this healable? Can we heal as a nation? Because there's so much division. The remember. hate meter is through the roof. You know, I, at some point, I I I I I am not saying we gag free speech, but free speech is also limited in terms of uh, without in terms of what I, I think Article. Um, uh, limits uh, in terms of hate speech, propagation of war, and other, and other you know, advocacy uh, for hatred. I think what we need to do as a country is also to, to use these forums or, or talk shows to, to, to mitigate our way out. You know, I had listen to my brother, Senator, but at some point when now you say that, you know, I only represent a certain fraction, then I come to, to realize we, we are doing this country a lot of damage. So these things are very possible. It just requires the greed and the will of the Kenyan people. It is going to happen. I'm very confident that it will happen. Yeah. In our lifetime? Uh, not even our lifetime, in a year or two. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, it's, it, that I say it. This is not complex. It's an arrangement of people on one side have been outmaneuvered by an arrangement of people on another. Mm. The way politics is, it's dynamic. 
you don't know what Mudavadi's next move is. For, or Kalonzo's uh, like next move. Friend, enemies yesterday are friends today. Uh, friends today might be adversaries tomorrow. Yeah. So for me, what I what I know the dynamism is that people were, once the Supreme Court has made its promulgation, and we start moving beyond the one month onwards in terms of forming government and moving forward, mm. new factors will creep in, new manifestations will keep creep in, and new associations will also take form. Mm. So they, make no mistake that there is going to be a, an evolution and, and things will shift quite fundamentally moving forward. Yeah. Senator, you get the last word. I think um, we've got a beautiful country and I cannot deny that. And I think I'm bold enough to say things that most people would not want to say. The feeling is that a lot of people in this country feel disfranchised. And I thank you for having this platform where people can actually talk and try to meet somewhere. You know, we are demanding for full respect of every single ethnic group that lives in this country. You know, I, when I say I represent the Maasai's interest, it's because I have to be thankful for them putting me where I am today. I am not saying that I will not represent any other community that lives in Narok. The fact is, facts are very stubborn. If you are elected by a particular community, say thank you to them. Number two, the facts are the Maasai is very welcoming. We are so welcoming to a point where we don't really understand the value of land. You know, there's some stupidity in us in the way that we've sold all our land, which is what we are now trying to reclaim back. Mm -hmm because what is available for us is very limited. So I think it is important for us as a nation to meet and be open and honest about the problems of this nation. You know, the reason why a nation fails is because in, in when you, if you, let's say for instance, have a, a boundary here. And a good example is uh, Lovington and, and uh, Kawangware. The people in Kawangware hope that they have aspirations and dreams that one day they will live like the people in, in Lovington. When you look at the infrastructure in Kawangware, it's not the same as the infrastructure in Lovington. So the, all these inequalities is what is going to really take us into the dogs. We have a serious political problem in this country. We need a political solution to be able to solve this problem. When you look at countries like Singapore, for instance, when the way they rotate their prime minister, everyone feels represented in yeah, that country. But they had a you know? uh, benevolent dictator for 40 years. They did, but, uh, but they moved on. And I'm not saying that we're not ready to move on. We must accept that there are serious things that ail this country. There are those people who feel more entitled to be Kenyans than us. And all I'm asking yeah. is for us to have a level playing field sure. where my interests can be respected. But secession will not help. You know, if that's what it will take, if that's the discussion that we need to have for me to be respected and for my people to be respected, so be it. So what I'm saying is very simple. I respect his views. There is. Mm -hmm. He should respect my views. They're mine. Sure. There are people who come to these shows and they, they're bold enough to say they are for, you know, there are people like Murkomen, people like other people that I will not even mention. Their opinions are completely one-sided. For me, I respect the fact that we are 45 different tribes in this country. Is it 45 or 43? Yeah, it's Something 43 like that. official, but yeah. you know. You know, you uh, never know. Correct. And every ethnic group has historically occupied a particular area. Yeah. But now, when you go to Masailand, it is no longer Masailand. We refer to Masailand as a cosmopolitan place. When you go to Nyeri, it's Kikuyuland. But can I, can I say something know? before you say that? Yes. Uh, first, uh, just as a rejoiner, having spent four years with Murkoman, He's an extremely intelligent guy. No, no, I didn't say he's uh, not intelligent. No, uh, no, 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 I didn't believes, attack him. He believes in, in whatever I he, do not attack he him. represents. He believes in whatever he represents. Uh, it could be a single track, so it's probably your opinion. So I think it's, 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 it's an opinion. It's let, sure. him, let him be. Sure. Number two, I think Obama and Hillary, uh, because we like Obama in this country, mm. gave us an example of how to fight hatred with love. Donald Trump, for, for expedient political goals, escalated the embers of hatred in, our, in America. But there are those of us who know better. In every society, in fact, even in Islam, when we asked her, are they equal, those who know and those who know not? There are people down there who might feel totally aggrieved. But those of us who God has opened us opportunity to discuss in these types of television uh, shows, to, to, be, to walk in institutions that they could never imagine, we have been given that, that capacity to be 
leaders and, and to manage or administer of affairs of their lives. We need to conduct our business in a more in, in a different way. Absolutely, you do not escalate embers of hatred yeah. uh, with a with a bid <laughs> to to solve you know. a, a problem. And one of the but fundamentally, don't blame everything on one on on, on a single group or in a, on a single individual. Mm. Like I I I, I saw me. I saw this I, I see I see this. He Niwale they feel entitled. I personally also feel very entitled to this country. It's your personal psychology. If you feel marginalized, you probably will be marginalized forever. It, there's, a, there's a psychology mm. to everything that you feel. I, we were, we, I, we, I told people one of the things we must also do to overcome marginalization is to, to overcome just the idea of marginalization. Why is it so? The minute you don't, you, 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 don't, you, 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 think you feel marginalized without the poss possibility of raising out, Every action then is impeded. Whether you, 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 do, you, you don't read for an exam, you fail, you say I was marginalized. You don't, you don't go into a job, mm. you fail, you say I, I was marginalized. So what we need to do also is to deal with that psychology. But ultimately, the Constitution, Article 56, has a very elaborate charter on what the country needs to do to empower the marginalized and people. also guys you know, and also and I, let me just we have to keep talking huh? we do we but let me just say something yeah. you know i'm actually very happy that we have youtube and it can always point back to what i said you know two years ago you know it's actually hypocritical for my dear brother here to say that today since he's now in bed with the jubilee administration for him to completely forget what he said how were to new ways you Papi, know i'll that? remind you another where thing is that so bring me the YouTube. In fact, I'll, I'll remind you another one. Mm. And you know, it's actually very important for us to be bold. The president of this nation actually went out and said, there's a video that circulates all over, that the freedom of this nation was only fought by two ethnic groups, the Kalenjins and the Kikuyu. He said that. In, he, he did say. He said that? Yes, he did. Okay? So if we agree that. that we've got a serious problem in this country, let us talk about it. And let us be bold. And let us put our interests yeah. in all front. I, all I think, let us not try and hide. What I think, because you see, I can be able to justify mm. my okay. arguments. All right. Oh, the, what I think the president said, and I also sometimes I was also said maybe I didn't agree at that point. Mm. He said the two communities fought. Wakalenjin na wakikuyu walipigana. No, no, no. Walipigania. Walipigana. I wish I had. I, I, I wish I, I, my, please, my phone please, was on. Please, I forwarded to him. They, they said walipigana. Uh, in reference to the 207 yes. post election violence, uh -huh. uh, no. <laughs> that is the one. If there's another one, I will appreciate to hear it. That uh, the, two, uh, the, two, the two communities are yeah. the ones who had fought for freedom because anyway, in my history Kenyans books, out there know my, the my history books do, do, yeah. demonstrate they, that does allude yeah. to people who fought for freedom, but it's not only two communities, it's everybody. Absolutely. We had Mekatalili Wamenza, we had everybody yes. fighting for freedom everywhere. And back up and down. Mm. Gentlemen, thanks so much for your time. We'll have to continue this conversation another time. This has really been helpful. And I, and I keep saying, let's keep talking. Because the moment we stop talking, it's the moment we start fighting. We don't <laughs> want to go down that road. We've been there before. We don't want to go down again. That's the bottom line. So you two are still friends, right? No, 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 absolutely. What, 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 what are we fighting? What, what, it's my opinion. And he should respect it. And I respect his. Monica, what was it? 20, 20 what? 25, 75? You see, 25 most 25. Kenyans believe yes. that the only way we can move forward yeah. is not Nusum Kate. All right. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, if it's Wednesday, it's all about JKL. Real conversations with real people in real time. Thanks so much for joining us. Tomorrow morning on Hot 96 with Jeff and Jalas, it's all about a story a day. We're going to feature our very own Kanze Dana. Monica, you know her. <laughs> Anchor on Citizen Nipashe and also a director. She has a story and a half to tell tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, on Hot 96 with Jeff and Jalas. You like the YouTube? Yeah? Yeah, yeah is it fun? Yeah. Very funny. Lavor, the Romora. <laughs> Thanks so much for being a part of this I show. Keep we'll tweeting. Have some country music in it. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes <laughs> they wouldn't let me, man. They wouldn't let me. Why? I don't know, man. You know, you know they, they, they like Davido and uh, and.
techno oh, and sneak in some country music. Yeah. Jeff, if you, if you really, whiskey. If you really love this country, <laughs> uh, buy me a house in Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's a camel dobby. <laughs> uh-huh. That's a story for another day. <laughs> Keep tweeting at Hassan Omar H, at Ladama, at Krenanga Jeff. The hashtag is JK Live. Thanks so much for being a part of the show. Good night. Good luck. God bless Kenya as one nation. <laughs> okay. Amen. <laughs>